G'day everyone, Matt Elder of MattElder.com and today I'll go through and do a bit of an unboxing or unwrapping of these new Lego Dots bands which officially don't release for another week but they've done a bit of a soft launch and been able to get some of them through that so previously from working on the House of Dots been able to get some of these black bands but never got any of the actual packaging or anything like that so I've been able to get a number of these in the what do they call it the rainbow set 41900 so I've got a couple of those so that's coming out in more of the uh, the blue and then a couple of these what they're calling the lovebirds set 41912 which is more of a teal just gonna be curious to go through and see the actual tiles that come with it because we know that it was going to be 33 pieces but don't know the actual pieces which are coming with it and sort of the ratio of how many printed parts and so forth so let's just get on with that take one of these lovebird ones a little bit of a look you got the transparent window there see the band there just on the back seems to be pretty much just generic information so let's see if we can get these open so wonder if you can do it just normally or I think unfortunately it's going to be a scissor job. So I'm going to do that, that there. Let's see now how is this going to come out. Oh, that's interesting. Comes as comes on a, like its own little cardboard base. A peg in there. Yeah, it feels feels pretty sturdy like the, the black ones we had previously. And how do we get out? Feels like it's sealed, or there's a second tubing for all the little dots pieces themselves. Seeing if we can do this without having to revert to more scissoring and cutting it up. But I think I'm trying to get that out. Uh, I don't know, it might just be easy to cut it. Oh, oh there we got it. That's it there. And then what are the pieces that we have? What can we see here? Looking at the printed tiles for the Lovebirds one. Looks like I'm trying to pick this green. I don't think it's the lime. It looks lighter than lime. So that looks like you break down the parts for the set. You're gonna get one of the bands, and then you got three eye printed pieces. What's that? Four? Is that four? Five leaf type ones, three hearts, and then five lots of what's that? Six six major colours to go through and do your dotting with. So we might just go through and see what we come up with. Okay, so there we go. Gone through, first attempt at dotting it. I'm generally not the best at some of these more graphical type design things, so that was still quite good. I'm just looking at that. Again, just using the packet for inspiration, I thought I will do some birds in this sort of S shape, so just trying to see what I could do with it. So having an orange beak, an eye, and then some sort of body with some sort of little claws, and then a space a lot in between each one, so it can generally get three different kind of birds. Um, a few more spaces at the bottom using a few hearts. And those are the pieces which are left over. These are two lots of 14, so there's 28 there. And then there is 13 pieces left over. So you've got three more prints, which I haven't used. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that gives you a total just of the tiles. is actually 41 pieces. 
although it's saying it's a 33 piece pack so I mean that's great just a little bit interesting and I've triple checked and I've triple checked because I'm pretty sure my mass is right with that so I'm not sure how they're counting that the only thing I can think of is they're saying more or less you've got 33 pieces and then you have like eight spares or something um, but then that wouldn't include the actual band as well so anyhow bonus I'm sure that will make the price to part ratio a bit better might just check out one of the other packets maybe try a slightly different design and see what else we can come up with and see if you got the same leftover parts and things so let's just well, that's going to be the best thing here given the way that I'd like to I'll just move that over the side here So looking at this, the package contents look exactly the same. You have the three eyes, five flowers, three hearts, and then five each of all the colors. And it's bugging me. So I went and grabbed my little color chart, which I've created. So the green is the yellowish green. The orange is orange. And then the other one is a bright light orange. And then the one bright light yellow. And then we have bright pink. And the bottom is the coral color. So it works out great, it seems to be consistent. So you're actually getting 41 tiles of various combinations of that set combination and then the band itself. So we might try this time dotting with a slightly different pattern or coming up with something different. Okay, so attempt number two at dotting. And with this one, I want to have the two ends bookmarked by some feathers, then the circular pattern going through the range of colors, going from the greeny yellows through the oranges and then coming out to the reds and so forth. So just something slightly different. Now in terms of how that goes on the wrist, I got a relatively big sort of wrist. So probably more designed for younger wrists and things but I can get that on there I don't have big chunky hands and things anyhow I do quite like this this I believe it's a dark turquoise color yes of the actual band itself so for adults if you've got big chunky hands and wrists and things like this this might not fit on I'm probably sort of average in that regard so it does but it is quite tight but obviously then if it's more targeted kids it will fit them very nicely so let's have a look at the other one which I managed to pick up, which was the rainbow one, and see what that's like. Now that we've got a bit of a flavor, bend on the cardboard backing as before. Now, trying to get this out without cutting the packet and pushing it back up. Maybe squeezing it out like it's a, a calippo or something. Okay, for the rainbow band, again, we've got the 41 pieces or the 41 tiles again, same sort of breakdown. You've got 11 of the printed pieces and then the bulk in the others. I'm interested in this one, all 11 are rainbows, but I guess if it's called rainbow, then you get that. You get the quarter circle, the same sort of a bullseye type pattern, three with the cloud at the bottom and then three, which is the actual rainbow. And then we've got five quarter circle whites actually got nine quarter circle is that bright light orange yep and then the five quarter circle of light aqua round circles what's that transparent blue light blue and then five quarter circle reds interesting mix up this time last time it was all basically quarter circles with the printed pieces on the circles whereas this time you've got printed pieces as both square tiles, quarter circles, and then the additional pieces, transparent circles and other quarter circles. So depending upon which band or which flavor you're getting, you're gonna get a different combination of elements. 
So let's just go through and do a quick little dotting of that and see what we can come up with. So again, after another round of dotting, I managed to come up with something. I wanted to do a design this time, which is a bit more symmetrical, going both directions. So you got enough to do that in having these little tulip type pieces with bookended by rainbows. And these being the pieces left over. So you've got a fair amount of flexibility or different design ideas that you can work on and come out with different solutions. Let's just have a look at uh, one more and just see, just to make sure that we get the same breakdown of parts. So again, you've got the same breakdown of parts, five quarter circles, three cloud with rainbows, three rainbows, five white quarter circles, nine yellow quarter circles, five light aqua circles, five aqua quarter circles, five transparent blue circles, and five quarter circle reds. Don't know why I thought they might have been random. So yeah, I think there's going to be a nice breakdown and distribution between the printed tiles and different shapes and different colors across the different bands. The designs themselves are really quite cute and they manage to do a lot in a really tiny space, which takes a lot of skill to be able to do that. I was able to have a chat to one of the designers, Diego, at the press launch day for this and he really does knock it out of the park with these cutesy sorts of designs. And I think even in one of the promotional videos, they labeled him the king of cuteness, which you can see why. These are, these are really, really nice. You know, this isn't a, a product which would necessarily be in my wheelhouse, given that I like some of the Technic stuff and things like that. But over the last little bit, as I've been exposed to more of the designing, I really do like this and it is getting you to think just in slightly different ways about how you can approach building and then the actual finishing and tiling becoming its own little thing. I think it's going to do really well in their the target market of who they're trying to hit with this. The other thing which is just really surprising to me is just the fact that while it says it's 33 pieces, there's clearly 41, that's four different packets. And that doesn't include the band. And the bands, they are, are really nice, flexible and quite sturdy. And I've got some ideas on what you can use these for, alternatively for GBC and other things. So I hope to have a video up on that in the next couple of days. I think they're aiming the price point of these at £4.99, which is sort of like, you know, pocket money type level for a lot of kids, the younger kids, which they're probably targeting. And you can see these have a huge potential in that market. There we go, modeling and styling that. So officially these go on sale in a bit over a week, but if you look hard enough you can find some sources for the soft launch. Unless by 33 pieces they just mean the quarter circles themselves and they're not including the printed tile pieces, but why you wouldn't include them in the piece count, I don't really get that. And definitely something worthwhile checking out. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button or be awesome and hit the subscribe button. Everyone who subscribes is totally awesome and we really appreciate the support. Otherwise, till next time when we talk about all things Lego.